Hey guys, welcome to Ember Escape. And I am at Kauno Marius again at this giant lake. The last time I've been here, it was still snowing and a lot of ice uh, was covering the gravel. So this time there should be no snow and it will be a little bit different because I have made this. This is sifter. Uh, I have uh, a net in here uh, to sift the gravel. And this is uh, this stuff that will keep it floating. So I will do it Florida style, sifting gravel for fossils. And let's see if we can find anything today because I'm not coming home without anything at all. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. So before sifting, I need to pick a place to sift because uh, here is some rocks, yes, but will, be, will there be any fossils? I don't know. So I will take a quick walk, maybe I will find something on the surface and I will pick a place to sift and I will come back, get my gear and will get to work. So I just came here and I did find my first, first fossil and it's not a belemnite. Can you see it from here? No? What about now? Look how cute it is. <laughs> awesome. This is absolutely the same place. And of course, there's also Bellum Knights. Hmm. Yeah, I will take it. So far, so good. And let's keep searching. I'm in good mood. <laughs> the weather is awesome. Well, this is one of more unusual things. This is crayfish claw. And it's not fossilized, it's modern. But it's quite cool. <laughs> Maybe we'll take it. Check this out. Hmm. It's imprint of something, no idea what of. I will leave a bookmark right now, what it is. I think, I think I found something more unusual that I wasn't thinking before. It's laying right here and I will show you close up right now. What is this? Is this a crinoid? Very weird guys, wow, nice, beautiful thing. It's crazy guys, I can't stop filming another beautiful thing. Now it's definitely a crinoid, but look uh, how nice color of this fossil is. Real baby. Wow. Wow, I love it. Let me tell you guys, I'm not used to finding so many at one place and all of these are nice fossils. That's a keepers for sure for me. Oh, nice day guys. And I haven't even started sifting. <laughs> Guess what that, this is? A bellum knight with a broken tip. That's a shame. Can you see this? It is something for sure, but what it is, don't know, but I will take it with me, obviously. What the hell is this thing? Is this a dragonfly larva? I think this might be a dragonfly larvae. 
I spotted something in the water. I guess you can't see it from here. Uh, let's not get too wet, guys. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is a piece of someone for sure. interesting I'm starting noticing a lot more fossils uh, in water when I look in the water so I think I will have to go change soon into my water riding equipment because <laughs> it's very tempting to just go into water right now and it's very cold water right in Lithuania right now Definitely a coral, guys. Let me show you a closer look. Look, yeah, <laughs> look at this. Wow, it will go into vinegar for sure, or maybe I will dremel it out. This is this is a very nice example of a coral. I don't remember the name. I will show you while editing. Sweet. I see a Belem night from a distance, and if it's a full one, I will be extremely happy. Wait, I lost under it. Mm, it is broken one, but it's a beauty, guys. It should have been a big bellum knife. Look at this. I will show you the color in a second. Let's wash it real quick. Look at the color. Wow, baby. Love them. Love them so much. I will polish this one. <laughs> These rocks are so clean. Uh, last time it they was quite dirty, so today it's a lot easier to spot the bellum nights because of their color. Because the rain yesterday washed them all off, and I just can see them from afar right now. So this is very nice day, guys. I see something interesting in the water, guys. This might be something very interesting, but it's deep, and I still haven't changed. <sighs> I will try to get it out. This definitely is some sort of coral or a sponge. Quite weather though, I was thinking it was something else. Oh well. I'm filling my fossils container with sand to avoid any damage because I was carrying this container in my backpack the whole time. Yeah, I think this is the place I will do some sifting in. So, uh, I see the breeze in there and all I can think is amber, but there is no amber in this lake, probably. Yeah, so, at last, now is the time to get changed. There we go, I'm changed and yeah, I have my shovel and my sifter. And let's get to the location where I wanted to sift and get to work. I don't want to brag, but it floats like a charm. I will test it out soon with some gravel. Uh, so we did come to the location. It did take me quite a while because I was looking for fossils, of course. Didn't find anything because the waves are quite big. And it's hard to see what is going on in the water. So what will happen now? I will try to sift in here. I wonder how deep it is in here. Oh. Huh, not that deep, nothing to worry about. I guess that's enough for the first screen.
works like a charm. Do we have anything? So many shells. Yeah, and of course it's modern shells. What is this? Yeah, it looks like shells only, I have to go deeper. So sifting f uh, failed horribly, I was finding millions and millions of modern snails and that's it, not even rocks, like mostly snails and uh, shells. So yeah, what I'm doing now, I'm just going uh, forward to look so for some more locations, but it might, might be not very productive because I have this along with me and I'm not sure if there is anywhere to, any places to sift other than that one so yeah now it turned out not as a benefit but as a burden for this to fossil hunting i'll keep going hmm. is this greenoid also i'm not sure interesting either a cordoceroid or a crinoid. So after walking for a while, at last I found my next fossil. It's in here. Probably another sponge or something like that. Hard to tell. But there's two of them in this concretion. God, I was coming back to leave my sifter, look at this baby, this is my new keeper, I will call it King of Bell Knights, let me watch that. So it is possible, huh? Still possible, look at this baby, perfect, another one that we will get polished. Beauty. I don't get it, guys. I was walking here, here already. I'm just going back to my car to leave my sister, and I'm starting finding fossils now. Did I miss it? It's kind of complete. I think it's also is a good contender to be polished. Oh, oh, didn't break. So I started hearing some noises. Can I spot this fellow? Some sort of lizard, greenish one. Where did you go? Follow, hello. I know this is fossil hunting. No, this is not. A dinosaur, this is modern lizard, European lizard. I don't know how I managed to find it, it looks like I'm quite agile. Of course I will release it. <laughs> there he goes. Isn't this just gorgeous? Oh my god, this is perfect. I know this is just Rugosa, guys. This is Rugosa coral. But look how perfect it is. It's beautiful. This is definitely my Todd strip maker, guys. I'm very happy. This is crazy find for me. Wow. <sighs> I love fossil hunting, guys. You should try it out. So 
some sort of sponge, I guess. Quite interesting. I wonder how it would look polished. So yeah, it did start uh, raining heavily, but I did. I'm glad that I stayed because I found one more piece. Look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Wow, beauty. <laughs> Too soon to leave my camera. Look, I found one more. Less gorgeous, but still very nice. I will try to prep with acid one of them. Probably this one. <laughs> yeah, the rain is over and the sun is out. And now it's like crazy nice to find anything because the water is so still I can see everything what is going on. It's perfect. So yeah, there was some people there and the guy asked to give this one to his kid. <laughs> so I did gift it to him. He looked very happy. Maybe he will be future pathologist. Who knows? <laughs> All right, guys, it's getting quite dark and I'm quite tired and hungry. So it's time to go home and say goodbye to this place for now. I guess I will return here someday because I managed to find some very nice things and I'm very happy. But now, now it's time to go home and show you what I found. And just before showing you the results of my fossil hunting, I wanted to make a shout out for Stas, a fossil hunter. If you do enjoy fossil hunting and like to watch uh, fossils that are being uh, found on the Baltic region or any other region, uh, I do recommend you visit uh, his Instagram and leave him a follow because he finds uh, very nice specimens around the region of the Baltic Sea and he shares all of, all of them. And look at this, he, does, he did find some Baltic amber as well and I won't spoil you too much contents of his Instagram, go check them out yourself. I will leave his information in the description as well. And this is the results of my fossil hunting. By the way, all the fossils I found today was identified by Jakub. Thank you so much, man. I will just make this bell light wet real fast to see you how does it look wet. It looks a lot better. So we have a wide range of things we found. The most interesting for me or the the trip makers are this Rugosa coral, which is absolutely gorgeous. It is complete and it will go on the display with my ember. Other than this, this algae is also complete and is very nice. Other than that, there's a lot of corals that are very nice, especially when wet, like this one. I will have to polish it because when it, it will dry it out, it won't be as pretty as now. Ortesaras, or Tesseras, also my first one in my collection. Other than the fossils, this piece is also very interesting. It is not a fossil, but I think it's some sort of crystal or quartzite. It is greenish yellow color, I will polish it as well. And also I wanted to show you the, the difference between polished and unpolished belemnites. Like for example this one is unpolished, these ones are polished. So I will polish this one also. And it will go also on the stand of my collection. Yeah guys, that's it for this fossil hunting. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video because I will make more content like this and guess what? Next weekend I will go well, Baltic Ember hunting. 
So wish me luck and bye. See you next time.